Man, today sucks. Ugh. Watch where you're walking, bud. Man, these type of things are what cause mental health problems with today's youth. All of these things are things that can cause people stress. And stress is one of the biggest problems that we have nowadays. These things are what can cause people depression, anxiety, and all sorts of mental health problems. And those aren't things that we would like to struggle with. Some of, some of the things that you might have as a stress as well, that I have as a stress, could be work. Just work in general. Like, you, you need money to pay for things. That could cause you stress and stress you out. Or some of the things like school, homework, maybe, maybe school relationships, like having a girlfriend or a boyfriend, or maybe even having friends and wanting to maintain a good relationship with them. Those are all things that could stress you out, and sometimes you just gotta sit down, take a breather, and take things slowly. One. Hey, Josh. What are, you, what are you talking about? Oh, we're talking about stressors. What are some things that stress you out? Uh, family, uh, mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. or like if I don't turn my assignments in time, stuff like that. Yeah. See? Those are very similar stressors. We all struggle with the same things. Thank you for sharing, Josh. Now, talking about these stresses, what are some things that you could do that could help you out or maybe feel you better or make you feel better about these stresses that you have? Some resources that you could have is talking to your school counselor, talking to a trusted adult, maybe a trusted teacher, talking to your friends, talking or maybe venting to your friends, to trusted friends, so that they don't just go around talking about your personal problems, talking to, I don't know, your parents, talking to, um, or calling 988, that's the suicide prevention hotline, in case you're having a really bad time, you can always call them. And those are all resources that could help you feel better and have less problems with what you're dealing with. Hey, hey Europe, I was having a really bad day, I'm sorry for what I did. That's fine, man. Some things that you could do before having human interactions is you could take a breather or go out for a walk and have some exercise, you know? That could be something to help you. All right. You know, and not talking about that, it doesn't always have to be talking to a counselor or just talking. Some of the things that could help you relieve stresses or any problems you have is going out for a walk, having some exercise, listening to your favorite music, doing things that you enjoy, going out and doing a hobby. All of these things can help your physical and mental health because not only do you clear your mind away from problems, but you also uh, get that... I don't know, that adrenaline rush, or you get those toxins out of you when you do exercise. You feel so much better about yourself, and you also get stronger, you get more resilience, you get all these things that can improve you mentally and physically. You can also face your problems head on if you feel up to the challenge, or if you feel up to doing those problems. These could all be ways that you can help yourself when you have mental problems. You don't have to deal with problems yourself. Call 988 if you have really bad mental issues and you don't feel comfortable with talking to anybody else. Don't face problems by yourself. 